Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Lust Palette. When I first saw this palette, I was like, oh, I, yeah, I'm interested in a purple palette. And I saw it and I thought, that doesn't look very purple to me. But it actually is very purple. Um, it's just when you look at it on camera or on a video or see a picture of it, doesn't look that purple, but when you sit down and you start using it, it's as purple as you want it to be. And I will show you what I mean by that once we get into it. So I wasn't sure at first if I wanted this, so I kind of procrastinated. And because I did, um, it wasn't even an option to order it from Jeffree Star's website or Morphe's website. Uh, the only website that still had it was Beautylish, and by the way, I checked right before I started filming this, and they do still have it on Beautylish. Um, so it's $54, and it was my first time ordering from Beautylish, and based on my experience with this, um, I will definitely be ordering from Beautylish in the future, because... When I have ordered previous Jeffree Star Cosmetics from his website, it took forever for it to process and to ship, and it was just kind of borderline ridiculous. So from now on, if I want anything Jeffree Star, I'm just going to order from Beautylish because it got processed and shipped to me in four days. And Beautylish is in San Francisco California. I'm in Massachusetts. So it went all the way across the country, processed and shipped in four days. And I didn't pay for express shipping. I just paid for standard shipping. So that beats the uh, month that it took when I ordered from Jeffree Star. So definitely uh, impressed with Beautylicious service. And also, it was wrapped in this. And this is wrapping paper of all Jeffree Star Cosmetics' tattoos. These are the tattoos that are all over his body. And I thought that was really cool, too. And then they sealed it with this sticker that says, Beautylish Presents Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I thought that was really nice. And I got free samples. I didn't expect that either because I had, like I said, I'd, I'd never ordered from Beautylish before. So they sent me three skincare samples from a company called Good Molecules. They sent me two samples of the silicone free priming moisturizer and they sent me one sample of the niacinamide brightening toner. So I, when I finish with this video, I will be putting those in my bathroom and um, I'll be using those. Actually, the primer I should leave in here because it's a uh, primer that you would use before you put your foundation on. And then the niacinamide I'll put in the bathroom because that's a toner, so that's more just straight up skin care. So yeah, you get little samples of stuff, so that's cool too. All right, so let's dive into it. But first, I, I have to tell you something that has nothing to do with the topic today. I happened to be at a Walgreens yesterday, and I bought this, the new Wet n' Wild lip treatment. This is grapefruit and mint. Oh, God, I love this so much, you guys. I haven't been able to stop using it since I bought it yesterday. I keep you know, every time my lips are the least bit dry, I put some more on because it's so nice. Um, I knew that this existed, but every time I went to a store that sold Wet n Wild, the slot was empty. So I saw it yesterday at Walgreens, so I grabbed one. And when I saw that the scent was grapefruit and mint, I was like, grapefruit and mint? That doesn't sound very good, but I don't know. I just figured I would take a leap of faith, and I'm so glad I did because I love this. So I don't think you'll be seeing, you know how when you look at the description box of my videos and I list everything that I have on instead of beauty treats now, this is what you're going to be seeing because I, I love this. All right, so enough about that. 
All right, let's get into the palette. So I should show you the outer packaging too. Okay, so when you open the box that gets shipped to you, um, this is what you see. This is the cardboard packaging that covers the palette itself. And then on the back is your ingredient list and it tells you which ones are pressed pigments, which ones are um, not eye safe, and then it's got like his social media links and the weight and the barcode, that type of thing. So that's the outside packaging. Unfortunately, this is just a little bit too tall for me to display on my shelves back there. Um, yeah, it won't fit. So where I'm going to have it is on top of that thing, but you can't see on top of that um, from the angle that you're looking at this. But that's where it's going to be, is on top of my shelf unit. And then inside that is this. Did you hear that? That was me closing this clasp. Um, this is purple velvet, and then it has this, uh, what, what, I don't know what kind of material this is made out of, but it has this decorative piece in the middle here, and then it has a, a cl round clasp, which is a little something different instead of the hinges that they normally do and it has some information printed into the back. So when you open it up it has a full mirror and then it has a uh, piece of plastic over it and um, I put the piece of plastic in that cardboard box because I don't want to have to deal with that every single time I open my palette. So here it is. And yeah, the camera does not do it justice. This is so pretty in person. And um, I mean, there are a few shadows that are not purple. Um, like you've got this greenish gold one. You've got this one up here. By the way, um, this one up here is called Royal Pain. And in one of the videos where Jeffrey used or talked about this palette, he used it as a blush, and this is definitely a uh, like mauve type blush color. And um, so, if you don't feel like getting a blush out of your store makeup storage, you can just use that. I didn't use that today because I had something else I wanted to use, but um, it's definitely an option. So you have. 18 shadows. I had to stop and count them <laughs> off camera to make sure. Yeah, there's 18 shadows in there. And I already told you the price, $54. Um, if you look at the packaging behind the shadows, you've got like uh, sort of like that fleur-de-lis type pattern, but not. It's, it's not fleur-de-lis, but it's along those lines. And it's down at the bottom too. So the packaging is very pretty and it's it's heavy. Um, it's going to be somewhat uncomfortable for me to keep holding this up and talking about it throughout the video, but yeah, it's heavy. Doesn't feel cheap or anything. It's it's definitely weighted in some way. This this mirror is heavy, I think is what it is. But the bottom part has definitely got some kind of weight to it. I noticed on the shipping literature that came with the package. It said that it weighed two pounds, so um, probably a, a pound for the lid and a pound for the bottom. But the look that I did today is the same look that I had on in my Instagram picture that I took over the weekend, and um, I think it looks a lot better today because in that picture I had on a foundation that was too dark for me, so today I have on a foundation that matches me a lot better. So I think it just totally transforms the eye and makes it look um, better because now you're not looking at my skin being too dark. Yeah, that, that was not... <laughs> I, I have more than one foundation, so I like to sometimes rotate them. 
Sometimes I'll get into a rut where I use the same one all the time, but I think what I'm better off doing is just using like the lighter ones in the winter and the darker ones in the summer. That would make a lot more sense. But I like to test them out every now and then to try to remember what I think about each one. So anyway, wow, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, oh yeah, because I think that the eye look looks a lot better today. So I have on seven of these, uh, well, I was going to say shadows, but some of them are pressed pigments, so they're technically not shadows, but you know what I'm trying to say. I have seven of them on my face right now, so that's a pretty good amount, and um, let me just point out which ones I have on and how I use them. So this is Your Majesty, and I just use that as my brow bone highlight. It's like an ivory bone type shade. It's just a matte. And then this one here is called Take the Crown. And I have that on all of my lids. And then I layered some stuff over it. But that's like the base shade on my lids. This is Deviant. This is like a matte lilac. And that is my transition shade. Wet Jewel. That's his new formula. He has like this wet metallic formula that he developed for this palette. And that is my face highlight, which you can clearly see. I wonder how close that is to his actual highlights, because I don't own any of those yet. Um, I always think about getting one, but then I can never decide like which formula to get his, because he has like four highlighter formulas so it's kind of hard to decide um but yeah I wonder if that's just one of his face highlighters but in the form of an eyeshadow but it definitely pops if he starts putting one or two of these in every eyeshadow palette maybe I won't even need to buy um the highlighter individually because then you know it'll be like this multi-purpose palette which is nice and then I talked about this one before this is Royal Pain that would make a great blush shade um okay so this is Dungeon that I have dragged along my lower lash line and Pink Magic this is another one of the um, wet highlighter wet my metallic type shades there's only two of them in the palette. There's these two right here. This one I put in the outer part of my lids. And let's see. Blood Queen. Blood Queen is what I have in my crease. And why do I feel like I'm missing something here? Yeah, I just looked at it again off camera, and um, so those are the seven shades that I have on my face, and I was so crazy about this look that I did that I wanted to do it again for the video and not do something completely different. Um, so I've only done this one look, and I've done it twice, because yesterday I was testing out the new Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, and there's a picture of that on my social media as well. And I really enjoyed working with that palette too. And I'm crazy about the way the look for that palette turned out. So um, it's weird because I didn't, I went through a phase recently where I didn't want to buy any new makeup and I was happy with what I had. And then all of a sudden inspiration hit and I bought like five eyeshadow palettes within the time frame of like a week and a half um, so I think I'm all set for a while now but um yeah so as far as swatches go I hope you're not gonna be too disappointed but I'm not gonna do swatches today but 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 because I'm going to start doing um, quality swatches on my social media but I'm in the process of trying to find a certain item that's gonna help me to do that I tried to find it yesterday and failed. 
Um, the store that I went to was supposed to have it, but they didn't. So I'm going to try another store, hopefully later today, if I can squeeze it in, um, that's going to drastically improve the quality of my swatches because now I have a really good camera to take pictures of my swatches with. So there is just one other thing that I need that is going to make it just take it to the next level. So I'm going to try to find that. And when I do, expect to see a ton of uh, palettes being swatched on my social media. And I will, for those of you that don't have an Instagram account, I'll always link those swatches to Twitter so that if you follow me on Twitter and you don't follow me on Instagram, um, you'll be able to just click on that link and it'll take you right to the page where the swatches are on Instagram without, I, I don't think you even need to have an account if you click on a link from Twitter to Instagram, if that makes sense. All right, now I wanna talk about something else. Oh, uh, before I move on to a couple other things that I wanted to show you, um, A++ on this, you guys. Absolutely love it. I'm looking forward to doing more looks with this um, soon. And um, I highly, highly recommend this. And it's when I said it's as purple as you want it to be, what I meant by that, I should explain that, statement that I made earlier is you have this dark purple and you have that dark purple so if some of these shades aren't quite as um, dark as you'd like them to be you can use those shades to mix to make them darker but there's there's plenty of purples in here they're just variations on purple some are like pinky purples and some are lilac purples and then you have these darker purples, but I mean, this is a purple, that's a purple, that's a blue, like periwinkle blue-ish purple, this is a purple, that's a purple, that's a purple, that's a purple, that's a purple, so that's a purple, so no, this isn't a purple, this is a uh, teal. <laughs> uh, but there's loads of purples in this palette, and you don't really see that when you just look at a quick picture of this palette, it comes off more as pink. And yes, there are some pinky purples in here, but there are a lot of just purple purples too. It's it's a great palette and I highly recommend it. Now, a couple of the things I wanted to talk to you about in conjunction to all this is if you saw the picture of this look that I posted on Instagram, I had on a brand new lipstick that I just bought. So I wanted to show you this set because this was part of that Icy, the Morphe Icy Fantasy Collection. This was part of that collection. And this is the Morphe Pop of Pastel Lip Trio. So the base lipstick that I have on today and in that photo is Mystify. And I did not have anything even close to this in my collection. This is like, um, like a pinky lavender shade. And I've been using the heck out of this. But there's three lipsticks in this. So that one is Mystify. And then there is this one, which is Charisma. And so this is your peach. And I do not have a peach lipstick this color. I just don't. So I think it's uh, about time I did because that looks like a basic peach. But I don't know. For some reason I didn't. And then the other one is called Wonder. And this is like, um, this is like a peachy pink, I would say. They call it a rose, but I would say it's more like a peachy pink. Beautiful color. Just, I, I couldn't be happier with this lipstick trio. And this I got from Ulta's website because that's where I ordered the Jaclyn Hill palette from. Because I kept going into Ulta looking for it and they never had it and when I would ask when they were going to have it they were like I don't know so I just said the heck with it and I ordered uh, the palette from the website and I figured if I was going to place an online order through Ulta um, I might as well get this lipstick trio too and again the last time I checked 
It was on Ulta's website, but this is limited edition, so when it's gone, it's gone. I don't know about the Jeffree Star palette. Um, he had said a long time ago that all the palettes that he made were always going to be part of the permanent line, but that's actually not true because since he said that, they have discontinued the Alien palette and they discontinued the Thirsty palette. So those are no longer available. And I wish that I had known that he was going to change his mind at some point because I thought I had all the time in the world to decide what palettes I wanted from his brand and now those two are no longer an option unless I buy them from you know somebody on eBay or something like that which I would not do um so that's something to keep in mind is yeah it seems like this bloodless bloodlust palette should be permanent but you never know guys I mean I'm still waiting for the restock on the conspiracy palette you know but he he did say that that one was definitely going to be permanent but we'll see now as far as this lipstick goes I do have something over it and it's not the same thing that I had over it in that picture in the picture the Instagram picture I had on this believe beauty lip gloss in tropical punch which is beautiful and it's even more beautiful layered over this lipstick because this is like a match made in heaven they they're beautiful on their own but they're better together and Believe Beauty is sold at Dollar General it's a great brand very affordable check it out if you're not familiar with it I have loads of videos on my channel about it um, but yesterday when I was at Walgreens buying that wet n wild lip treatment I just started walking around looking at stuff and this kinda jumped off the shelf at me this is one of CoverGirl's Katy Perry kitty cat lip glosses and I said ooh you know where I where I just got that Jeffree Star palette I wonder how this would work either on its own or with that lipstick that lavender lipstick that I got so as you can see the lipstick almost looks pink in comparison to this purple lip gloss which is called pounce by the way and how cute is that cat on the top this is not new um, but I thought yeah let's let's try that so that's what my lip combo is today and I'm really glad that I picked this up because I think that it makes a very interesting color combo together um, so it makes this purple lipstick look even more purple on because nobody's lipsticks are purple just naturally so when you're using purple lipsticks a lot of times your natural lip color is showing through so it doesn't look as purple but I put on uh, my NYX lip primer first then I put this this is a matte lipstick by the way then I put this so that's the color that I got and I think it pairs beautiful with this eyeshadow look if if you like monochromatic looks a lot of people would just do a nude which is fine but I like to really go all out and immerse myself in specific colors which is why I I wore like a lilac shirt too um, so yeah alright so I think that's it for today you guys I am going to do swatches of this palette, but they'll be on my social media, but I can't really say exactly when that's going to happen because I have to find something. Don't want to tell you what it is yet, but as soon as you see the swatches, you'll you'll know what it is that I was trying to find. Um, so I'll get those up to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.